Why is it so quiet back here? All right, now this is the exciting part. We are going to the belly of the beast, folks. We are going to the Federal Reserve in Dallas, Texas. Someone just had his camera stolen right in front of the cops. The guy was riding his bike and he went down that way.
Absolutely. Get to be represented and to spread the wealth of that we are not working so hard every day to make ends meet. Woo! And I know that some of you, some of you have already done some of you are tea partners. And you have gotten up and down for yourself. Now it's our turn, my turn, your turn. Take it out and fight for yourselves. And eventually, let me tell you what's going to happen. These two Economic solutions. Here's what I think we should do. First thing, bring back tariffs. Period. There is like a bill going through Congress saying to punish China on devaluing their currency. Personally, I say we should have tariffs. Period. No matter what country the product, the imports come from. A few exceptions here and there might have to be made, but for most of our history, from George Washington until Ronald Reagan dramatically reduced it, we have had tariffs and we have had manufacturing jobs here in this country. It's because of the loss of tariffs and, you know, free trade. That's why jobs got outsourced to China and India. Yeah, they're taking our jobs. Exactly. Get that. In the fat. These wars are expensive. These all right? wars are racist. These wars are expensive, and if we give the government 70% of our taxes, we're just going to use it to kill people all over the world. That's our money. These wars are expensive. Bring the fucking troops home. Exactly. Nothing it's under re under regulated and capitalism. Crony capitalism. They set the rules for themselves. They're all exactly. in their back pockets. They're all but, in each other's private They all set their own contracts. Extremist capitalism. It's extremist capitalism. That's what it is. The rules are for them. Mm -hmm. and, and they make them up. The regulations for them. Everything benefits them. And they get on the mainstream media. And, and they run. And they think it. Yeah, it makes they're me so mad. They're trying to create a war or something. Oh, big time. Yeah. This is what democracy looks like. 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 And what a better city to stand up against the Federal Reserve, the head of the beast system, the same city where on November 22nd, 1963, JFK was shot at Dealey Plaza after signing Executive Order 11110 to end the Federal Reserve. So here we are at the Temple of Darkness, calling to end the Fed, standing up against tyranny, standing up against the New World Order, and all those other... We every president corporate bastards that are part of this. It's not the rich, as we're told by the mainstream media. It's the real establishment that's bought our politicians. This is the perfect place to have a protest. How's it going? I believe that we're all united to support causes, but uh, mainly to, to show that our voices will no longer be silent. We're trying right now just to get the word out, mostly so we can get the, you know, just, just get the get the government back down to the level it needs to be at, bring our, our country back to the constitution it was founded on. I'm not a radicalist, I'm not an extremist, but I, I do believe in our country, and I believe that it needs to be taken back a step. Our government's gotten way too big.